Hey everybody, Brian Garcia, Meteorologist, National Weather Service for the San Francisco Bay Area. Wanted to talk to you a bit about the storm that's coming in tonight and into Wednesday. We're going to have a storm drop into our area from the northwest, so think of the area off of northwest California, the Eureka area. There's a front that's going to come down across us from there. This storm is going to be multi-pronged, so it's a true legitimate winter storm. We're going to have all the impacts, so we're going to be talking wind, rain, thunderstorms, building surf, potential coastal flooding, as well as cold temperatures behind it. So let's get into a little bit of the details. In terms of the wind, we're gonna, we already have a wind advisory in place for all of the hills and mountains around the Bay Area and the Monterey Bay region. Those winds in the mountains are gonna be coming out of the south to southwest at about 20 to 30 miles per hour, gusting 40 to 50 miles per hour. We also have that wind advisory in place for coastal Sonoma all the way down through coastal San Mateo County for southwest winds 15 to 30 miles per hour gusting to 30 to 35 miles per hour. That wind advisory is in place from 4 p.m. today through 4 a.m. Wednesday. Now, when we have winds like this, our big concern, of course, is falling trees and falling branches. Unfortunately, we have people die every year from falling tree debris. So make sure that you keep yourself safe and your family safe by cleaning up any debris. And if there are loose branches, just pull them down today before the wind even starts. Get rid of that hazard. If you know a tree is diseased or rotten, make sure that you stay away from that tree during this wind event. So be safe out there with these winds. On top of the winds, we're also going to see some pretty heavy rains. Right now, we do have a flash flood watch in place for the Kincaid burn scar. That is from today at 2 p.m., so Tuesday at 2 p.m., through Tuesday at 10 p.m. So that's kind of the time window. Somewhere in there, we're expecting some pretty heavy rains to cross the burn scar and to the point where we think the rates might be enough that it might trigger a flash flood warning for debris flows across the Kincaid burn scar. Widespread across the Bay Area, however, we're looking at about an inch total of rain. Uh, some of the sheltered locations, so think of the East Bay Valleys, they're kind of rain shadowed sitting back there. They might see more like half inch or three quarters of an inch of rain. Whereas coastal ranges such as the Sonoma Coastal Mountains or the Santa Lucias of Monterey County might see upwards of two, potentially even some isolated totals of three inches of rain as this front moves across the area. With the rain, we also are talking about potential for thunderstorms because we do have a cold air mass coming in behind this system. So the air is going to become unstable and we look, we're look we looking at the possibility of some thunderstorms continuing right on into Wednesday. And that'll bring some small hail across the region, which makes its own very unique threat. So with rain, we're going to have uh, ponding of water on roadways. We could have some potentially localized flooding. So make sure that you stay safe, pay attention what what you're doing out there in terms of your driving, uh, your speeds, your following distance, keep your lights on if your wipers are on. So make sure that we keep each other safe while we're out there. Same with the hail. If hail piles up on the roadway, don't slam on your brakes. It's like driving on ice. Just try to coast to a nice, easy, slow speed or even a stop. As that cold air filters in and moisture's in place, the snow levels are actually going to be dropping as well to about 2,500 to 3,000 feet. So we do have the potential of having some snow accumulation up in the mountains, potentially anywhere from uh, about one to three inches of snow, depending upon where you're at. So think of areas like Mount Hamilton, uh, the higher peaks in North Bay, uh, and then especially the Santa Lucias in Monterey County. The Santa Lucias are actually under a winter weather advisory for a few inches of snow in the mountains of Monterey County. Along with all of this wind, rain, and snow, and thunderstorms, also comes the ocean with building surf. So we're looking at open ocean swell building to 15 to 20 feet at about 14 to 16 seconds. So that's the period between the crests of the swells. What this equates to at the beach is a surf in the 22 to 27 foot range with some potential areas of 30 foot surf, maybe even going north of 30 feet into 30 to 32, 35 feet of surf. So think of uh, those prime locations like Mavericks. Uh, Ocean Beach will be very exposed with some pretty big surf. Some of the tucked away areas like Capitola, for example, 
might not see the big surf like some of the exposed regions will see, but there will still be higher surf than is typical there. With all this is a lot of moving water. So there's gonna be a lot of current out there with all that water moving. On top of that, we do have high astronomical tides right now, north of six feet in most areas at the, at the peak of the high tide. So this can bring its own threat as well. So you put the high tide and the high surf on top of each other, we do have the threat of some coastal flooding. So if you're in very low lying areas, make sure that you pay attention to the tides and the surf. If you go down to the beach, never turn your back on the ocean. We don't want anybody to get caught unaware and be in harm's way of a very, very dangerous ocean this week. Behind all of this uh, weather that's coming in, the wind, the rain, the surf, we also have very cold temperatures that are going to be crossing the area. So temperatures are going to be dropping in to the 30s widespread across the region for overnight lows in those early morning uh, hours. So we're going to see 30s in most areas. Some areas will go sub freezing, so 32 and below. So some of those outlying areas like the valleys of North Bay and potentially valleys of East Bay, we could see temperatures drop in the mid to upper 20s and some of the mornings later in the week. So this is going to be a very, very active Thanksgiving week uh, with wind, rain, building surf, and cold temperatures. So all that said, make sure that you take care of each other. Make sure that you take care of yourselves. Make sure that you watch out for people. And most of all, uh, we want you to have the best possible Thanksgiving that you can this week and be thankful for everything that, that we have. I know that we're thankful for you and we want you to have a great week as well. So take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon. Later.